Alright everybody, I am Sky Bunny and welcome back to your turn to die? Why am I thinking why I died? Anyway, so we just finished like the first part of chapter two, and it looks like we're gonna be playing a bunch of mini games, which is fun. Talk to me. So um we are talking about we are in negotiations to trade tokens, and unfortunately my favorite two people who I will live and die for are in the same Thing. But let's see what it says. So after fishing a death the attraction, you can select someone in the lobby to have negotiations about tokens, trades, and the like. It's wise to both collect tokens and deepen your interactions. Your actions may just decide their fates. Fuck me! That's why I'm gonna bring freaking Gin or KG with me. If they're not there for the attractions, then I won't, but otherwise I'm their priorities. Sarah, just to try it out, want to trade 20 tokens? Ranger, was it? That enemy of ours said that the more these tokens you collect, the better. Put it another way, who knows what'll happen if you don't have very many. But why trade with me? Because you're cute. <laughs> I wish you just remembered already. Let's see what he has to say. I've been told not to do this kind of trading money stuff, wow. It's kind of like gambling, it's scary, woof. So if it'll make you happy... You're just gonna give me for free, I don't like... Just giving them? We're, we're gonna go with KG. Great, should I pour some coffee? No thanks, what's this about a trade? Cold hearted as ever. Just what I said, we trade 20 tokens for experimentation. Our enemy seems surprisingly serious about following the rules of nothing else. Even if there, there was that dummy rule. Why don't we just give... Why don't I just give all my tokens to you? Or half to Gin and half to you? The more tokens you collect, the better. We can probably trust that's correct. So those do, who don't get a certain amount of tokens are penalized. Doesn't sound unlikely, does it? I trade with me. Didn't I already answer? Even if you can't make me, even you can't make me say it endlessly. But I'm asking for your honest reason. Besides, they called it the trust part of the game. If I gotta trust somebody, I'm thinking I could trust you, Sarah. I. I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> And to imagine the doubt in your eyes at first. Sorry. Huh, so you don't deny it, eh? Well, in the end, I'll defer to your wishes. I'm not an extortion kind of guy. What should I do? If I trade for 20 tokens, I'll be losing 20 of my own. Should I still go through? Trade 20. Why not? I like him. Although he did promise he was going to tell us about something. Let's trade, KG. Thanks, Sarah. Well, that's it for negotiations. Really? Suddenly I remembered something. Is now still there, I wonder? The AI of Professor Mishima. I should go check on her. How many to tokens do you need for... Now is talking with her gaze fixed on a single point. Now. So then, Professor, while you are gone. It's like my voice isn't reaching her. I guess it's entirely reasonable. If I were in that situation. If it were Joe on that screen, then. I'm sure I'd be rooted to the spot, too. It doesn't matter if he's fake. I want to meet him and apologize. I want him to forgive me. I can't help thinking about those things. As if I'm gonna forgive ya. Oh god, did my thing go down? Oh. Calm down. There's no one there. It's just an hallucination. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. No, it's a boy. Who is that? Calm down. Stacky. 
What if I would have not clicked at all? What if I just would have let it go? I'm sure. Now it's regretful too. Wondering if she could have saved Mishima. Given that bringing now back to reality is beyond me. I'm sorry. Ooh, I don't like it. Well, I don't know what is too high. And that, Professor? Yes, I see. Is that so? Why can't I go to the prize counter? Isn't this the way to the prize counter? Before I left the room, I looked towards the monitor one last time. It's been nothing but hardship then. However, even amidst such circumstances, you've made wonderful friends, Miss Now. Her friends? Indeed, age and the length of your association are of no relevance. They are wonderful people who help each other. I understood that clearly hearing you speak. Please treasure your friends, Miss Now. Oh, okay. Oh, I've always been getting saved by them. So from now on, I want to be useful to Rico and Sarah and everyone. Oh. That's all I... I'm going now, Professor. Oh, good girl. Yes, please come by any time. I'll be right here. No. I won't come here anymore. Miss Now. You truly have grown strong, haven't you? I'm honored to have you as had you as my student. Goodbye, Miss Now. Oh, what a brave girl. <laughs> Good girl. I I'm, I'm not strong at all. I wanted you watching over me always. Professor. I mean, you don't call a high school teacher professor. That's why I'm thinking college, but whatever. Now I was trying to look forward. To accept everything and face reality. Now strong. Not stronger than me. I should go. I'll do what I have to. So much as approach that strength. What? I read that weirdly. Day one. Noon. What's that? Quit with the stupid jokes, you! The biggest joke around here is your name! Taro and Major are arguing. I wonder what happened. Damn it, you gotta be screwing with me! Taro, what's the matter? Sarah, this Major guy just said we can't go back to the first and second floors! I mean, you cleared them already, right? Hold on a second, Kai's laptop is down there! Who cares? We'll just confiscate that thing. No way! Damn it, it was unmistakably a clue. The laptop's the last thing they want to let you guys take. Sheesh. KG. Pekataro wants to find the truth about Kai. About Kai? What a troublesome guy, leaving mystery after mystery. I wonder if Kai was a good person after all. Some aspects suggested his. His anger for the victims, resistance against the kidnappers. Was Kai acting for good or evil? Just whose side was he on? And we ended up making Kai a victim without knowing anything about him. But we can make inferences. Inferences? Friend or foe, let's consider the possibilities. First, Kai confessed to having some contact with the kidnappers. So, one Kai possibility is that Kai was with the baddies. Like a director of the death game, for instance. Yet Kai drew the stage card and died. In his last moments, he said he entrusted me his hopes. I can't imagine him as an enemy. Incidentally, Sarah, you really didn't have an acquaintance with Kai? No. Hmm. Then how about this one? Something like, Kai betrayed the kidnappers. And he was executed as an example? He did suck Miley after all. Hmm. It is possible he earned their wrath, but... Maybe that's not it. 
then here's the next possibility. Kai was on our side, but he had some sort of communication with the kidnappers. Though in the same situation as all of us, he did dealings on or missions in the shadows. Missions? Like what? You remember the first trial everyone took, right? Yeah, that game where I was tied to a bed and we had to find the key? It wasn't the same for everybody. Did Kataro say so? Uh, yeah. For Kataro, the trial was just to carry the box with Miley's head. Is that what you mean by missions? Yep. In short, Kai might have also been entrusted with a different mission. Like, ensnare the other participants. No way! In other words, he was being manipulated like a disposable pawn. <sighs> There's one more. A very slight possibility, but one your friendly policemen like to hope for. Hmm? The possibility we've got an ally on the side of the kidnappers. <gasps> In other words, there's a traitor among them, trying to destroy the get de death game from the inside. That person was in contact with Kai and had him assist with the plan. Maybe my dad? Well, Sarah, think that's out of the question? One of the kidnappers is our ally? It's possible. I have no proof I could fully deny it, but... Looks like you can't wrap your head around it. There are clearly some illogical aspects, so... Well, that's just my hope, anyhow. Could be interesting if Miley was related to this, though. <laughs> KG, hmm? I was just thinking... Has there been a similar case? There hasn't been a past case similar to this death game, has there? There has. What? It was decades ago, apparently. But I've read the files. There was a battle for influence between major crime rings. At the time, the police were putting their all into exterminating these organizations. Those living in the shadow had it pretty rough. So crime rings started laying waste to their own. But if you're just gonna mutually destroy each other, it's better to join hands, they thought. And so they executed a plan to unify the crime rings into one monolith in the ways of violence they're so adept at. Don't tell me that was. Yep, a death game. A mutual slaughter with rules. Scary stuff. The representatives had a grand battle and only one person survived. That survivor reigned at the top of the criminal society. I think it was called the Hades Incident. Hades Incident. Shot to the top of the criminal underworld, hence the Hades Incident. But ultimately, the organization collapsed afterward. Justice always prevails. The police do their job sometime, right? How relevant is it to this? Not very, I think. Since the organization collapsed and all. Besides, Sarah, you got any connection to the criminal underworld? Is her dad Yakuza? Y you can't be! Of course not, right? It's not good to go tying anything and everything together, Sarah. More importantly, we better get moving. Ranger was mentioning the rest of the attractions have opened up around here. Is that so? Think it'd be good to go look for them? Tell me if I can help out with you. This policeman will be your partner, Sarah. Nice. Sweetheart. All right, let's go check around. <sighs> Nothing in there. Oh, he's outside. Hmm. What is it, Sarah? Alice, I take you to your business with the attractions beyond here. I thought so. Attractions appeared here. What, you didn't notice? My observational skill is superior. Over there and there and here. Discovered three death. Move the move menu. Challenge them if you're up to it. And tell me if you seek my observational skills. Even if it's fake, I'll find it feels really nice. Wow. Cool. What do we got? 
quick draw fly swatter. That sounds fun. Now's not the time for attractions. I don't care if I'm saying clink. You, huh? Kinda explains it to me. It's just one sock after another. I couldn't blame anyone for being paralyzed. Um, Sarah, it looks like attractions have appeared in a few places. Yeah, so I heard. It looks like you can go to three more attractions from here, in fact. What? Look behind you. He's right. They're past on the opposite side. I wonder. Maybe some locations opened up under the new attractions. Let's search a little longer, Kana. Well, he's totally pretending to have lost his memory, but if he is, then he should trade tokens with me, shouldn't he? Okay. So that's all the attractions that opened? It might be about time to continue on with clearing the attractions. All right, but she said things opened, right? Oh, we need 50 for that. ticket. I don't even know what I got. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. KG! Maybe I should have got KG's personal info. I'd rather ask him though, it feels so rude. The ticket. Oh, I don't know what I got in now. I can't even look at it. Maybe it's like to clear a game? Maybe? Ooh, runaway minecart. That sounds fun. I didn't seek also sounds fun. This one. with that asshole. It's not a bad, bad deal. <laughs> what the fuck is with these people? Alright, let's do stay on target. other two people just give me the two stars fuck no all right what are we doing rules keep touching the area presented by your opponent following it and not leaving the bounds okay touching your allies icon will give you advice and like so good luck I'll get it. <laughs> yes? <laughs> oh, I see. Bold. 
Interesting. <laughs> oh, man. I'll pull my mouse out a little bit. Oh god, this is gonna mess with me, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was gonna spin. <laughs> hey, that one was easy. We got 30 tokens. <laughs> Hell yeah! Piece of cake, Sarah! Sorry to be selfish, but I'm taking two clear chips. To make up for it, I'll give you 30 tokens. That's not less selfish than the other two assholes. Negotiation. I don't like it. I don't really care about any of these people, but I guess Reiko. Alright, let's see what he got. No. Oh, yeah! Did you see I decided with Reiko that we trade 20 tokens each? But you know, gotta cross a shaky bridge together. For instance, we could pass 20 tokens like this. Me to Sarah to now. I thought I want some now tokens just to mess it, mix it up a little bit, I think. Or pass them the other way, now to Sarah to me. That way we don't need to have extra trade partners in the future, see? So they're daring to trade them like this instead of equal share. Yeah, let's do it. That's the ticket. So how are we doing this trade? If we pack tokens like this, or else like this. That's a good way to give 20 tokens, right? Sarah, you can choose whichever direction you like. Well, if I get, if I get, 50, then I already have, but I don't even know if I care to buy that. Like, I think I'd rather buy the other stuff. I'd like to receive tokens from those who want to amass them. What does that mean? Uh... Let's do this because then we can... I'll give my tokens to now. Reiko, please give me yours. Got it. Don't lose them, okay? Because then we already have 50. And we can decide later if we want to use them or not. Oh, it hurts, Mal. What's wrong, Gin? The two of us went into an attraction, but I couldn't quite protect him. Oh, they're taking care of each other. Binks is here, I'm okay, well, just a scratch, woof. But you're bleeding. I can like it better, woof. Would be nice to have somewhere to care for wounds. Uh, well, would you like to go to the medical office? Well, what do you want? Scram, woof. But it wouldn't be good if the wound was allowed to fast. <laughs> You've got no right to be worrying over me, melon soda lady, wow. You see? Uh, can't exactly believe you that easily. Are you willing to take a vow, Zeppelin? I vow that I will cause him no harm. I won't go back on my word. Uh, can't trust her, Wolf. I'd be mad if she remodeled my body into some weird superhuman wow. Hey, that sounds kind of cool. You do it if you want it that much, wow. I won't force it upon you, but I definitely think you should get treatment. Let's try trusting her. Bing Sarah, are you serious? Wow. Yeah, if she's about to do something bad, KG and I will protect you. Sounds good to me. Oh, thank you very much. Please follow me this way. I like doing these weird char voice characters. This is the medical office. What's this place, wow? 
the lead outside, woof. Oh no, everything you see is outside is just an image, Brit. Tacked it on the glass cabinets. An image? Yes, currently we're displaying a soothing tropical scene. How do you like it? Uh, you're right, it does feel nice. Feels like the AC's tuned just right for it too. Observant. Only oh, actually manage this room myself. It serves as a laboratory as well. Uh, so can we heal again? <laughs> oh, yes. The medical supplies are over here. They're so cute. My boys. Please take it easy. KG's tending to Gin's wound. It's lighter than I thought. Does it hurt, Gin? It doesn't, but I want to have Miss Sarah heal for it, me, meow. Well, now, got me a sore spot. A wound like this should be fine, just being lost in water and bandaged. Well, I have a cell that speeds up cellular repair, so if you use that as a weapon, it will more quick. Sure that's not dangerous? Understood. Please look at this. Zaphalin cut her home hand, making it bleed. And you use it like this on the bleeding area. See, it isn't dangerous. <gasps> Proving it with your own body, eh? Got it. <laughs> Gin and KG are talking in whispers. Mr. Policeman. What's up? Is it okay to give Big Sister this wow? Oh, uh, what? No, better not give her that. I wonder what they're talking about. Um, do you have something for me? Wow! It's nothing, woof! Huh. Pretend I didn't see. I don't know what he hid from me, but I'll pretend I didn't see anything. It's nothing, wow. Don't worry about it, woof. Got it. I trust you, Gin. Wow! <laughs> Well, we've treated again, so let's leave. Right. If you get hurt, please come back again. Got it. We'll be careful. Let's go, you two. We left the medical office behind. I am a curious. Look at those two. What? Reiko's glancing at me to call over. I wonder what it is. Before that? Eating that wound heal made me hungry, Mwow. Should I ask for stuffed peppers? I hate peppers, Mwow. How strange. It's even night outside these windows. Sarah, can you come with me for a sec? What is it? I found a weird place. Wanted to show you before telling everyone. A weird place? Come on, follow me. Oh, that's the exit, isn't it? You need 200 tokens? I'm guessing. What is this place? Told you, weird, yeah? The most suspicious parts of those stairs is a vending machine at the top. A vending machine? Hold on, I want to see something. So we need 10 clear chips, right? I'd love to get KG or So's info, but I KG's probably too smart for that. There aren't any items displayed inside, and no prices shown either. Hmm, the power's on. A vending machine with no clear merch or prize it? prices? The hell's it steal, you think? The bill acceptor slot is plucked up. But it looks like you can put in coins. Ah, like tokens. <gasps> what should we do? Should we put in tokens? Hold on a second. Let's not. It might be a trap. Just touching it could be bad. Sure, but like, before the others come in and get all curious. Don't do it, Reiko! In the end, somebody's gotta investigate it. Reiko swiftly inserted a token. 
Nothing's happening. Maybe one token isn't enough? Hmm. Seeing as there's a number above it, maybe... You have to insert 200. Huh? Who's gonna earn that many? That's better be one goddamn tasty soda. Maybe there's no need to worry about it. Got a point. 200's just unreasonable. No problem ignoring it then. Well, ain't that a relief. Let's ditch this creepy place. Oh, Vaco. Hmm? I took the token she inserted from the return slot and gave it back. Hey, thanks. Let's move, Sarah. Right. Maybe we can come back if we solve the mystery. Besides, it's about time I do an attraction. Look. Oh my god! Oh my god! I shouldn't click on it, but I am so curious. Something is faintly reflected by the glass. Joe's there. Not again. It's a hallucination. I must just be hallucinating. Oh fuck. <laughs> Touch me. What happens if it gets all the way up? She goes crazy. I don't know what all the way up is though. What was that all of a sudden? Hallucination. I gotta ignore it. How long can I suffer? How long am I going? I approach the closet, but the hallucination doesn't go away. In fact, I can only see it more clearly. Huh? Don't tell me this is... Joe? No, he... Is it a doll? He's not... Like, like Miley? He's not reacting. What's wrong with my eyes? Well, what are you doing? Don't go opening doors without asking, please. Cephalin! If you need something, please let me know and don't go searching around on your own. What is this? Cephalin, tell me, what in the world is this? Oh, um, what's in there is a doll. Like, we found a us doll in the other room. So maybe they're making AIs of the personalities and then dolls? What if we're a doll? We're a doll! We're a doll! You must have seen them before, a doll of Miss Kana, a doll of yourself. Come to think of it, I do remember using a doll that looked just like me in the mirror room. Do you remember now? What are they for? What's the purpose of these? They are one of experience done by our organization. Yep, we're dolls. Does that make me feel better or worse about killing people? Hmm. Not better. I cannot say anything more than that. The more I looked at the doll, I felt it might start moving any moment. It's like Joe's really there. If it pleases you, do you want to borrow it? Oh my god. D don't be ridiculous. Wh why would I want this? One of the purposes these dolls were made for is mental relief. A precious person you can no longer meet. You can talk to them or have them beside you. A doll's a doll. I don't need it. But you're distressed, aren't you? <gasps> Please be honest, Miss Sarah. You need salvation. You have regrets. If you desired it, you could have joined hands with Joe and escaped. I tried. You gave that up and killed him. And you mourned that fact. Stop it. Facing Joe's has in us the only path towards salvation. That's not... Stubborn, I see. Then just for you... Allow me to show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even closer to this doll. Quit it. Isn't that a little too much interference? Maybe you're not a villain, but you're sure not normal. I apologize, I went too far. I won't speak anymore about dolls. However, if I may at least offer a suggestion... 
I have a device for healing mental wounds. Please, come here before your hallucinations become so intense as to destroy your mind. That's all. I don't know when that is. It doesn't give me, like, a bar. Well, so long. Fudge me. Are you okay? <sighs> I'm exhausted. Can't say I'm surprised. Wanna sit down for a bit? Okay. Sarah, did you... Did you like Joe? He was a close friend. He was a close friend. No one else was as foolish, soft-hearted, cheerful as him. Yeah, I bet. He was someone important to you. Regardless of liking or love, right? Yeah. Come to think of it, you had someone important to you too, right? You said you'd tell me about it if we survived the main game. I did. It was back when your good old policeman was still in grade school. All I had was a single mother. We weren't affluent. So when I went to visit friends, I had to borrow my mom's errand bicycle. The brakes on it were busted, so one day I fell off and the bike went sailing into the river without me. The embarrassment of being laughed at by my friend and the pain of losing my mom's dear bicycle got me weeping like nobody's business. And there on the scene was the friendly neighborhood policeman. He leapt into the river and fished out the bike, and even spent hours at the police box preparing it. Aww! That's so cute! Soaking wet and awkwardly cool. He was my hero. So, he was the person important to you. He's what made me want to be a policeman. I'll never forget it. It's a precious memory. Were you able to reunite? Since you became a policeman yourself, did you reunite? Oh, fuck. That was a bad question to ask, wasn't it? Well, there's lots of different police in the world. Alright, that's the end of that story. You calm down a little? Thank you. See ya. You can always depend on Mr. Policeman. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will continue with the games next time. Johnny!